everybody, this is Julia from abbasheart.net. Today we're going to pray a blessing over the masculine and feminine traits we all carry. Sexuality has really been a touchy subject in the church. But the truth is we are born with male and female traits. This is just scientific. So if you've studied science, even on the most basic level, you know that every male and female out there has genetic code for male and female traits. So we all have a certain level of testosterone and estrogen in us. So this is a very controversial subject, but in my mind, I think this is natural. This is how we are built. This is how God created us. Being masculine and having masculine traits has been deemed evil. And being feminine and having feminine traits is being deemed evil. And I think that's a very sad state for humanity because the truth is the polarity and what we both have to carry offer so much that we are selling ourselves short by trying to say that these things are evil because this is the way God created us. So anyway, I just wanted to pray a blessing over the masculine and feminine parts in all of us. And instead of fighting and striving and hating and defending who we are and the way that God created us, embracing all the sides that God created us to have. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. John 10.10 10. So we all have testosterone and estrogen in our systems, both male and female qualities. Neither one of these is wrong or bad, but when we live denying the gift of one side, we are powerless to reach our full potential of peace and harmony within ourselves. So the masculine part of us allows for our survival and the feminine allows us to stop and enjoy the fruits of our labors. To live an abundant life like Jesus wanted us to have, we must embrace both of these powerful traits that we carry. They're both a very important part of our survival and us enjoying life. So if you're looking to find a healthy balance of work and enjoying your life, then just agree with me in this prayer. Lord, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. I praise you for my testosterone and estrogen, which are perfectly blended for my unique hormonal system. I thank you for my feminine and masculine traits as both have served me well over the years. As a single woman, it was my masculine side which kept me safe and alive. This was crucial for my survival and a reflection of your grace. If you did not allow me to be sustained in this way, I would not be alive today. Lord, today as an act of my own free will, I will move out of survival mode and into thriving mode. I repent for not trusting you sooner, for you were ready and willing to bestow more grace upon my life when I was far too occupied with protecting myself. Today, I bless my masculine side while leaning into and opening my heart to my feminine side. I gracefully receive your divine guidance, wisdom, love, provision, protection, and care. I open my heart to experiencing freedom on a whole new level. In Jesus' name, amen. I am praying that you have freedom in this area, that you have freedom to take care of what you need to take care of, but also freedom to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So if you find yourself kind of just working the grind and just running yourself in the ground, you could be in your survival mode where you're heavy on your masculine side. You are responsible and you're getting things done, but you're not taking the time to stop and enjoy the life that the Lord wants you to. 
And perhaps that is part of your problem. Like you need to ask the Lord, am I taking on more than I should? Just because the Joneses have this car, should I be working this many hours to achieve this item when I can be accepting of a lesser car and actually enjoy my family? So there will be like an assessment that the Lord will bring up to you about things that need to be reassessed and life that needs to be recalibrated according to his desire for you. My prayer is that each of us will live in harmony and peace and understanding that we are not just worker bees, we are children of God, that our existence isn't just to do and accomplish and have, it's to be with him, it's to receive from him. And I, I believe that people who are in high masculine energy have a hard time just relaxing and trusting that it's okay to stop for a minute and soak in the blessings of the moment. Because this is what life is. Life isn't just accomplishing things, it's also appreciating where you're at. So I pray that you have a fresh revelation of a balanced and harmonious life and that you're able to relax and receive from the Lord in the way that he wants you to. Thank you for joining me today and I am really looking forward to hearing your comments below. God bless.